Hello, thank you for checking out today's video. Today we'll mainly be checking out earthquakes across the United States and Alaska. Checking out the past three days of earthquakes starting out in the United States. On the 20th there was a small magnitude 1.9 earthquake on the coast of Maine. This earthquake had three felt reports and it was also reviewed. Looks like there was a magnitude 2.3 earthquake in the center of Georgia on the 18th. This had five felt reports. Continuing to come back to this area near Ridgely, Tennessee, we continue to see a small earthquake activity. Checking out Oklahoma, we also seem to see normal earthquake activity. Coming over to Texas, where we had that large magnitude 5 just a few days ago. It looks like in the past few days there was a magnitude 4 around the same area. This magnitude 4 only had 6 foot reports. Looking at this area around Great Salt Lake and up to Yellowstone, it doesn't look like there is any activity of note. Yellowstone Lake looks like it had a magnitude 0 just on the shore of Yellowstone Lake. That was on the 21st, which is today. Coming over to Nevada today, there was a magnitude 3 near Rachel, Nevada. Bit more interesting, coming over to Goldfield, Nevada, there was a magnitude 1.0. This was also today, just a couple hours ago. Now this has a depth of nothing. The depth is actually blank. It's not zero, it's blank. Now this is around the uh, nuclear test sites uh, here in Nevada, which is uh, interesting. So a uh, quick little note here, if you pay attention very closely, you will see that there are no earthquakes in Oregon for the past three days. This is literally a part of the Cascadia subduction zone. And there are no earthquakes in Oregon for the past three days. Think about that. Now, if we look around Oregon, we can see earthquakes come up to the border towards Northern California and Nevada pretty much touching the border. If come up here to Washington, we can see events other than earthquakes even come up to the border of Oregon. Interestingly, there are also no earthquakes in Idaho. Four hours ago, there was a large magnitude 5.2 earthquake off the coast of Oregon. For some reason, this had eight Digifield reports, but I don't think anyone actually felt this earthquake. If we check those Digifield reports, they were well inland. And there's a bunch of uh, did not feel it reports in Portland for some reason. This earthquake had a default depth of 10 kilometers. And it looks like uh, 9 seconds after that earthquake, there was a magnitude of 4.5. This 4.5 had one fell report. Coming over to the Iris of Wilbur 3 system, just north of Eugene there is a station here, station COR. We can see the signature of that earthquake coming in. I did have a look at the data on my seismometer and it doesn't look like it picked it up very well near Sacramento. Coming down here to Central America there was a magnitude 4.8 earthquake near Null. <laughs> Which null is just a JavaScript uh, no data. I don't know why it says null. You could say this was right off the coast of Guadalajara. It's also a magnitude 4.3 on the 20th. Taking a look at the Southern America area near Chile, there does not appear to be anything of note. On the 19th, there was a magnitude 5.5 southwest of Africa. It was quite, quite southwest of Africa. Now this was on the uh, Mandela Fracture Zone, but it was also near a forking point at the Dingen Fracture Zone. It was also near uh, Shake Ridge, or Shaka Ridge. Okay, so I don't know how I missed this uh, right before this magnitude 5.2 near Oregon. It was a magnitude 5.5 up here in Alaska. Literally just about 40 or so minutes before this earthquake off the coast of Oregon. Checking out this magnitude 5.5 earthquake in Alaska. This had zero Digifield reports. Now looking at this uh, significant magnitude 4.9 earthquake which happened on the 18th. This was near Point McKinsey, Alaska. This is also pretty close to Anchorage. Looking at the details for this earthquake, it had 1,857 Digifield reports. 
Looking at those Digivilla reports, they were of course mostly in Anchorage and north of Anchorage. On the 18th, there was a magnitude 6.9 earthquake off the coast of Indonesia. However, today there was a very devastating magnitude 5.6 earthquake in Java, Indonesia. This was on land. Unfortunately, there has been many fatalities. There was 129 reports to the USGS. There's also a tectonic summary. They say it occurred at a shallow depth and it is a result of a strike slip faulting within the crest of the Sunda Plate. The USGS also has an orange pager. Coming up here to Greece, there was a magnitude 5.5 yesterday. 40 Did You Feel It reports to the USGS. We'll continue to follow interesting events as they happen. Thank you for checking out today's video and stay tuned for the next one.